Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. You had, um, you know, a good week thus far. I'm going to be doing um, the signs monthly outlook. We're going to start with Pisces. Happy birthday, Pisces. I have asked Spirit to take my energy out of this reading. We are protected as always. I'm doing that to cut down video time so you guys can get a more elaborate reading for your full monthly reading because, you know, I'm bringing some changes to the channel. Um, so let me know if you like the way I do this reading below. I went ahead and pulled some overall energies just to get a look here from the Yin Yang Oracle. And then we're going to use the tea leaves, break it down with some tarot. I want to break these down with tarot as well. So I see some celebration here with gifts and abundance. So of course it's your birthday month and let's, or remember this could be past, present, future, flip it, switch it. By the way, guys, thank you for the views, likes, shares, comments. Anyone who has, um, donated to my cousin's, uh, breast cancer um, fund. I'm doing a live on Facebook on Friday with uh, Wistful Canes um, to raise money for her. And I'm really excited about that. So thank you guys. I really do appreciate your support. I will, uh, my goal here is when I get up to so many followers, um, I'm going to do fundraisers every month and donate to different causes, okay? So um, we have close off guarded and distance. So you are close. I feel, I'll tell you what I feel with this. Uh, apology and forgiveness. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node placements. Remember, it will not resonate with everybody. Not everything will resonate. But this is an overall outlook for the month. So stick it in your pocket for later. If the title sticks out to you. You can always watch it later. Okay? Because, you know, time is not linear. Attraction. So you got Mars. Hot. So there's some hot attraction here. Um, what I'm getting, getting from this, of course, um, is this is a time for you. I feel like not only like birthday gifts, but like spirits giving you guys some upgrades. Um, it's a time for you to delve into your plans with abundance. Um, there is someone, you or someone else here, very guard off and resistance. I feel like that may be closed off. I feel like you're guarded towards other people, Pisces, at this time because, you know, you're... A very caring empathetic person and you're starting to you see people for their true colors you know your intuition is on point someone wants to come in and apologize to you um or wants your forgiveness all right and somebody's very attracted to you you're really hot at this time pisces all right so let's see what this is about and then we'll use the tea leaves okay um we're gonna do this is a general so i have love money all that stuff give you some oracle cards guidance from archangel michael okay Tell me if you like this way better. Alright. Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, Archangels, Ancestor Spirit, Guides, the Highest White Light. Welcome you into this uh, reading for Pisces. Please keep my energy out of this reading. This is for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node placements. What's this about gifts, celebration, and abundance for my Pisces here? Okay. Gifts, celebration, and abundance. Yeah, um, you have a lover that might come in and bring you a gift as well. Also, I feel like uh, some someone, some of your kundalinis may be um, activated. And I feel like after a period of being hurt, you are seeing people for who they are. You're, that's why you are guarded at this time, you know. You're like, uh-uh, no, my search is not my monkey, so I'm not going to give in to this. You have a Queen of Wands energy, so you're cre the things that you're creating are going to be very bountiful with the abundance at this time. You're very passionate about something. You're speaking your mind. This is beautiful energy. King or Queen, doesn't matter, masculine or feminine. We all have those energies, okay? What's this about closed off, guarded, and resistance? Yeah, okay, be careful. You know that the devil's out there trying to get in your energy, trying to make you fall, and you've tamed your beast. You've faced your demons head on. You and your you and your beast inside or friends or your shadow side, so to speak, right? And you're standing up to the to this shadow double energy with a strength card. This the devil just tried to pop out again, but it didn't. Um you have the two of wands here. I feel like you've made you know which way you're going, you know where you're going, like this is I don't know where I'm going. And you're studying, learning you're creating at this time you know who you are what you are and what you want right after so long or maybe not knowing you are the magician you are alchemizing you're using not only the elements to your benefit but you're also in transmuting energy to help transcend things and to help uh, magnetize things to you and bring in your manifestations but I also feel that you know um, you're using that like whether it's at your job or 
um, and you know things with family whatever it is you you're starting to see things notice like how to transmute energies to make them benefit in your favor you are man whatever you've manifested I feel like you're less worried about community like joining getting together with friends or with lovers at this time you're more worried of, you're more focused on your, your building yourself building career or business um making money you know something you wished upon a star your wish is coming true i do feel this month what's this about apology and forgiveness for my pisces you got wish fulfillment here some you're someone's wish fulfillment they do want you to apologize to them there is a looks like a masculine energy here for, that has wished for you to hear their wish fulfillment they look very sad oh sorry that's eight of cups looks like wish fulfillment somebody because i just said wish so your wishes are going to be met. Somebody misses you. It's somebody that you walked away from. Could be a masculine energy. It doesn't have to be. You know, they're hope, wished, and prayed for you. And, like, they, uh, I've gotten this in readings before. They fumbled the ball, basically. They want, you know, um, this is a ten of swords. They stuck you in your back, right? More than ten times. And they're about to be caught up. You, you're on to them about this. You know what's up. They may think that you don't. Okay, but you do so just be aware of people places and things at this time if something doesn't feel right or something feels off pay attention i feel like you're listening more paying attention you know sp responding less yeah somebody that stabbed you in the back wants to bring you a love offer so just be aware of that pisces what's this attraction more isn't hot about whatever is in the dark is coming to light here that wanted to pop out that is your card pisces what is this attraction more isn't hot I just feel like you're a hot commodity right now. They're a lot, yeah. Somebody's under karmic judgment. I don't feel like that's necessarily you, Pisces. Um, you're protected day or night from these enemies, entities that may be trying to get in your energy. They, yeah. Somebody was trying to turn your world upside down. You got 10, 10, 10. So this, you're closing out major cycles here. You're beginning new ones with the world and the Ten of Pentacles. You're building generational wealth. If you have a business or uh, you have a platform, you're gonna go viral or you're gonna get like a lot of attention, clients, subscribers. Um, if you're building a business, you're gonna have a lot of people coming in and people are gonna come to you for your services, okay? Um, if you're offering them at this time. I just feel like no matter what you do right now, you're magnetic people are drawn to you okay so you have the world in the palm of your hands like i said this is luck money success love like every you're building generational wealth you're breaking the generation ancestral curses as well by the way you're taking up for yourself finally pisces it's not that you didn't want to take up for yourself before um, an empress wanted to come out here you're in your empress energy you're all four queens of the deck you know i feel like you're balancing your masculine and feminine really well at this time setting on your throne you know what's up you're not yeah you're either taking action or a quick, quick message is coming in i feel like you're taking a lot of action but also like i feel like um there's messages coming there may be an me important message coming in so pay attention okay if you have it's, it could be about your passionate new start i feel like people some people may want to work with you or you may get whatever if you don't have a business i feel like this could be uh you getting like a raise um uh a new job i'm feeling a new car for some of you moving um that's just intuitively all right let's get some tea leaves out here let me pick these up here real quick like i said i'm doing this one a little bit different just to see you guys like it this way i don't know i'm following spirit <clears throat> i have two separate piles of tea leaves we're gonna get four at least four maybe five from each pile depends what spirit wants um, they have already been pre-shuffled, but I wanted to shuffle some of them in front of you instead of having the whole deck at once. I just feel that this works better. All right, Spirit. What can my Pisces expect for the month of March? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node placements. That was too many. You have the staff here. You will be taken care of in difficult times. If you're going through a difficult time, don't worry. I feel like that's Spirit saying, we got your back. You're protected. Don't worry too many spirit at least one or two at a time maybe one more or at least one more here on this side thank you so you also have cracked cup 
dissatisfaction with life. Some of you may feel dissatisfied with life or with a certain someone or certain something in your life. We'll break it down and see what this is about. You have the boat, money or property through an inheritance, winning or windfall. So you got definitely got some money coming in. This could also be something that you've worked for. I just heard um, divine wealth, like spiritual, divine inheritance, spiritual inheritance for some of you. The tankard is here. So you're going to be celebrating fun and enjoyment. I don't feel like you necessarily get drunk. I feel like this is also linked to someone in your past who maybe has uh, is either drinking or using drugs at this time. The one that wants forgiveness and wants to come back in hot. Um, so just be aware of that. Uh, I don't feel like you want anything to do with this person or you, you know, you've seen them for who they are. The mask fell off, so to speak. This could also be friends that are, that are masquerading uh, to be that are enemies masquerading to be your friend. Um, so just be aware of that. You already know what's up, Pisces. You listen to your intuition and you talk to your spirit team. That's what I'm feeling. Pisces, please, spirit. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and north node. Thank you. Three more, please. Two, one more. Thank you, spirit. All right. So Pisces. You have the nest. An emotional secure, emotionally secure, loving family is important to you. I do feel like things are going to, are getting better. I feel like uh, if you've had trouble with in your family unit dynamic, even like your extended family, that uh, you guys are you're you're rebuilding those relationships. Um, for some of you, it could have been a relationship like it, like a narcissistic type energy that kind of work to secretly close you off from your family and friends and you're getting those things back that's not for everybody but um the camel is here persevere and you will overcome the problem any problem you have the bow you are highly thought of i feel like that's in this realm and the spiritual realm the mule is here someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change and i feel like that is for a lot of you this masculine it could be also a feminine energy um an X, you know, from the past. I feel like they keep doing stupid stuff. So let's see what this is about here, okay? Hold on. I don't want to use that deck. I love that deck, but I'm going to use this one. These have already been pre-shuffled, but... I'll shuffle them in front of you guys too. Thanks. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node placements, please, Spirit. You got the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, you definitely got some money coming in. The world, judgment. Yeah, I knew judgment would finish. Pop it, head out. Um, what is the staff about? What will be taken care of? How will Pisces be taken care of in difficult times, please, Spirit? Oh, goodness. Did you see this pop off the table? You got uh, the moon in reverse. Something that was what's hidden. Everything is, something is coming to life. For a lot of you, this is... People have been talking about to you. It could be an ex. Um, I feel like... Or been being sneaky. And you knew what was up. But it's like you didn't speak on it. And everything's about to be revealed. Okay? The world is here, too. This is like a gift from the universe. Okay? Um, you're going to be successful in any endeavors, even though you've been through a lot of difficult times with Pisces, like the last seven years, I, I, I feel I feel like your whole life, but the last seven years have been a bit huge test for you, specifically the last three um, was like, like the tipping point of it all, but it's all around, I feel like you were starting to look at it from a different perspective and seeing that you um, ever able to heal things and it brought you to where you are into your awakening, spiritual and light, your, you know, uh, ascending spiritually that's you know if it resonates where you take it and it won't that might not resonate with everybody what is this crack cup about with a dissatisfaction in life what is this about for my pisces sun moon rising venus and north node placements yeah there's a masculine in the reverse could also be a feminine this is someone who is their stability is they're not stable mentally physically emotionally spiritually okay um, they didn't take the proper action when it came to you. I feel like you were their gift, you as a partner. So whether they're a masculine or feminine energy, you were their blessing from the heavens, from source. It was 1427 on the clock. They told me to say that number might be important to somebody. Sorry. Um, and they, that they, they, they fumbled the ball. They didn't want to grow. They didn't want to learn. Right. And because of that. 
you know, you bring out, I, Pisces, I feel like you bring out people's um, demons, so not demons, shadow side. Um, and, and that's part of your life's purpose is so people see them and identify them and change them. Justice is coming in the situation with this person. So any of you, well, this could be a uh, spiritual court's been going on. And I do feel that they've lost their spiritual protection. Yeah, Spirit just said they lost their spiritual protection. They did not realize who you were. Um, and your rank in the, in the realms. You didn't even realize who you were for a long time there, Pisces. Um, but know that you are protected. Spirit's got your back. Keep pushing. If you do have a court situation, justice will be served in your favor. Um... This has been a long time coming. This is about you taking your full power back. And if you love somebody, even if you love somebody, if they've hurt you or done you wrong, and they you've given them chance to chance to change, and you know they're trying to ruin the way you get money, or you know trying to ruin you. A lot of you guys have been like your characters have been assassinated, even lied on. Um, made fun of, talked about from your back, from the very people that you, you hold love and hold dearly and that you, you took up for them, you know, and you tried to help them at their weakest moment. They're, they have some childhood drama and, you know, they meet deals with the devil. That's, that's what spirit's telling me, but your justice is here. Okay. I do feel strongly if, if you have an court process, even if it, it may be long, okay, between airy season now in July, like, like between now and July, by that, it'll be closed up. Specifically, I'm getting airy season for some of you. What's this money, property, with your inheritance or windfall about? The star came out, okay? I feel like some of you may get money from the courts. I feel like you were just, some of you were done wrong, even by authorities. Um, maybe they didn't take you seriously, even though you had the evidence, etc. Um, that's for a few of you. Um, but your spiritual inheritance is here as well. This is Aquarian energy. Um... By the way, you have Libra, Pisces on the board. Um, and some people say the moon is Cancer as well, so. We will draw signs you could be dealing with at the end. Um, so this is like something you, a lot of strong healing energy, something you could have pushed and prayed for. Your manifestations are coming in. Gifts, luck, success, okay. Can I get another one? What, uh, oh, clarify the star, please, Spirit. Clarify my star. Yeah, Empress Energy. So, you are in the upright again. I told you it wanted to come out earlier. You're in your creative energy. So, your creations are also going to bring in money. Right? You're very beautiful or handsome. Take it where it resonates. Um, happy energy here. The sun and healing. Like... People are starting to see you in a new light. I feel like you're reverse aging. You're just shining. You know, it's your time to shine. Okay, Pisces. What's this celebration fun and enjoyment about? For some at full and reverse. For some of you, this is a someone. This is there's someone partying, and that's part of the reason why they're acting out. I do feel that they do have an attachment. Sorry, I do. Hangman's here. Sometimes this can mean enlightenment, but it can also mean Joe. I do feel jailer prison for somebody in y'all's energy. Yeah. Death. Something's ending. Ending so something new can become or begin. begin. I, I just heard, no, this is death. Like, it could be a physical death. Doesn't have to be. Why? Because things were unbalanced with the two of pentacles. Things are being brought to balance. They didn't want to work with you together is what I'm getting. Okay. What's this nest about? Emotionally secure, loving family is important to you. Clarify this, please, spirit. Yeah, three of wands. You're waiting on your ships to sell in. Okay, so those of you that are single, I do feel someone's coming in for you guys to collaborate with. This could also be collaboration uh, as far as a business or work endeavor or project you're working on, okay? But it's going to bring you money. It's going to help make your family sick. I feel like you're building a nest egg, as my grandpa calls it, so to speak. Um, financially so that you can, you know, take care of your kids and their kids after that. You're building generational wealth. You're, we'll be collaborating with others. Um, this partner that's coming in for those of you that are single or some of you may be with a new partner. No, I'm not talking about one that's abusive or doesn't work or anything like that. I'm talking, the 3-3 three, three significant, by the way, maybe seeing a lot of 33 or 3-3-3. Three, three, three. Master, ascend to Master Jesus number is 33. Um, 
but you've made moves you're waiting on your ships to sell in i see you guys traveling as well um could be moving or traveling to or by water in some way shape or form whether that's a river a stream a lake um a beach you know you're still your sales are finally going to come in you are protected from any type of harm all types of harm that doesn't mean don't protect yourself and you know cleanse your energy that's just saying that um and the spirit realm's got your back you're being protected so if you feel like you put made projects hold on a second if you've made projects or put things out into the universe and like they maybe they haven't come in and you feel like you're being held back or stuck it's for your protection okay but you're it's about to come in 2027 on the clock when i looked up c222 is significant um four of wands you're working on your stability and your structure here okay building a solid foundation this is also can be a soulmate card uh, a love card happy celebration card family card okay so things for family life looks really good for you guys. Camel, persevere and you will overcome problems. What problems are Pisces going to overcome here in the month of March? You're going to, there, you got a win-win outcome in anything, okay? So if it's court or if it's the job that you want or drama or issues in family work, put it where it resonates. You are also meant to be in the spotlight. You're meant to be seen and heard. The light, all, all eyes on you. There are people that are watching you that you're not even aware of. You are a hot commodity right now. Some people are being secretive about it. Um, because you're, you're a leader. You're meant to be a leader, Pisces. You've been, you're meant to take the things that you've been through and turn them into a business. Um, turn them into a learning platform for others. It's going to benefit you. Clarify this. Yes, and it's not, it may not, some of you will, might be, I don't feel like it's with a lover, I feel like this is you doing this solo by yourself, I'm not saying that you won't later work with someone, you know, I feel like Spirit wants you to work by yourself solo, I'm not saying that you won't collaborate with people here and there, but your business needs to be by you, by yourself, um, because it's going to bring you the Ten of Pentacles, and you've learned that you just can't, even, you have been stabbed in the back so many times helping people, right? And you know how people can just suddenly change on the flip of switch. So you don't trust just anybody. I do feel there may be like one or two people out there that you may consider working with. Um, that you know you got their back and they've got your back and they've proven that, right? That you would, that it would be like spirit would give you the okay one. Because they're a high vibing spiritual person just like you. Um, and if that, it may come to that here soon. Yeah, look, someone, and even though people try to steal your money before, stole your, try to steal your fortune, especially with spiritual inheritance, they can't do that now. Like, there there are sneaky people around you, so just be aware of that. Some of them are ex-lovers, okay, with the lovers in reverse here. The bow, you are highly thought of. What's this about for my Pisces? You, people see you as very strong because you walk away from people places and things that no longer serve your highest good specifically in relationships family you know you're very strong you're not afraid to do things alone you're not afraid to take matters in your own hands the will of fortune is here for you it wanted to come out like this i don't feel like that's you i feel like you the will is in your favor whoever has done you wrong though that you walked away from the they're getting their they're about to get their karma if they haven't already i have a feeling they've been getting it they're just been quiet about it putting up a facade you know and i feel like that's one of the reasons why they're wanting to come back in your life so much i feel like you are very distant from a lot of people yeah this has been a slow time coming because like spirit gave them chances to change i'm hearing and they didn't so now where they wanted you blinded they are blinded everything for them will be at a stalemate no not well they're not going to be able to move forward okay I feel like whatever they wished upon you is going to happen to them. And, and if they wish anything upon your children, especially them too. Okay, this could be a uh, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. I'm speaking of, it doesn't have to be. Um, what's this? Someone that is emotion, extremely stubborn, unwilling to change. I was on that card and I said it could be Cancer Pisces Scorpio. It doesn't have to be. Tell me about the mule. Yeah, this is someone who hurt you. Uh, this person wanted you all tied up. I feel prison for this person or jail. Um, spirits like I'm not letting them rest. I just heard, yeah, they're like they're they're being haunted. Um, a lot of the, I feel like some of these people have de demonic attachments. 
Yes, it's a real thing or entity attachments, but I feel demonic specifically. And um, so you need to push forward when it comes to like court matters or anything like that because this entity is driving them and they're not going to stop. Um, this person may be acting out like they've never had before and I do feel like it's this attachment. Um, they're going to need a priest, I just heard. Like, I don't know. Anyways, I try to keep these general. I don't like speaking on that, but the spirit tells me I, I have to, okay? 25, 12 on the clock. There's that 2, 2 again, right, guys? All right, let's get you some love oracles, please, for my Pisces. Sun, moon, rising, and north node mirror. Mirroring each other, self-image, relationships, reflecting old wounds reflecting our wounds and introspection so i feel like you know you know that everyone is a reflection of you right a lot of you might have a lot of people may be projecting towards you at this time you've made a lot of changes you're working and made a lot of healthy choice you're making new healthy choices for you making a lot of changes eating healthy changing your diet drinking more water you're giving up addictions quitting smoking right lightning so something is coming in very quick could be a sudden you're i feel like you're going to get some shocking sudden news soon and you are not wearing a mask though you know others are you have taken your mask off you're being your true self and speaking who you truly are and you don't care who likes it and who doesn't and all these cards were in the upright by the way but spirit flipped that so that's how i took it let's get you guys um sort of romance angels here Romance Angels from my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node placements. You have flirt. Some, there could be a lot of people that are wanting to flirt with you. Um, extend your lighthearted energy to others. That could be friends as well. Be careful of any deception. Someone is wearing a mask. As I said, it's not you. Um, the situation is calling for you to have faith and trust in the divine. Don't trust people of this world. You know, trust your spirit team. This person from the past, addictions are affecting this per the person, this person from the, your past life. It, so after a year, it could be some of you may still be with this person. Um, remember, I'm not a doctor, lawyer, professional of any kind other than professional tarot reader and Ricky Hiller. But I am going to tell you that this person wants a reconciliation. The air still, I'm hearing drugs, alcohol, okay. Um... I'm getting two different stories here. If this person wasn't abusive to you and you're wanting to get back together with somebody, I do feel there could be, very soon, there could be a reconciliation of some sort. Some of you, this is with family and friends, though, not necessarily a lover. Someone from the past is coming back very soon, okay? Some of you, it could be an ex. Someone could try to reach out to you, wants to be with you. Um, I have a feeling it's this person that's, you're trying to, if you this resonates and you're trying to stay away from them now take it as it resonates if that doesn't resonate then you know and you don't you didn't have those, those issues with someone that was in addiction then um let me get you some signs you could be dealing with here real quick before i pull these love messages for you okay then um go for it i wish you the best right listen to your gut listen you'll never see you wrong right get a private reading from someone or a people that you trust if you need help remember if you need um anything professional help a doctor lawyer counselor things like that or if this is emergency you call your local emergency number or go straight to your emergency department or police department okay these are not wanting to come out spirit what sign there we go we have air sign water signs cancer Pisces, scorpio Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, uh, Neptune, and Uranus. Those signs could be in their Neptune or Uranus, or it could be their Cancer. Okay? So those are the signs you could be dealing with. It comes to love. Doesn't have to be. All right? Let's get some messages. This is the person on your mind. So I want you to take a deep breath, and I want you to think of the, think of the person that you want these messages to be from. Okay? And let's see what comes out. Messages from, yeah, somebody wants to reach out. Let me pull them first and we'll read them, okay? All right. 
this person is not, it came out like this. Some of you, the person is truly sorry. Most of you, they are not truly sorry. They wouldn't have kept doing it. They do want to reach out to you. Some, um, I still don't have all the answers was in the reverse. They think they have all the answers, some of them, but they don't. I have so much desire for you. I just wish things were different. Remember, only take the, the, the messages that resonate, okay? Number nine, you are so beautiful. Why do you need me? Number seven, or why don't you need me for some of you? Number seven, I just dream a wish and wish for everything. I don't want to lose you, number four. Wait, number seven. So if you're wanting to reach out to somebody, the Spirit's encouraging you to wait, I feel. You want to reach out to someone else. Number 15, you make me want to do bad things. And that doesn't necessarily mean sexual either. Like some of you, this person, if they have an entity, it wants to kill you. I'm going to be real with you. I am terrified, number nine. Yeah, because they're getting their karma. Like, spirit's coming down on them hard, okay? Now, like I said, that may not resonate with all of you, but I'm reading what spirit tells me and what comes out in the cards. And I did ask my energy to be taken out, which I know there are other uh, signs of Pisces and, you know, other people going through this. Can I get an abundance angel, please, spirit? An abundance angel for my Pisces. Your abundance angel today is organized for success. Do not let the word organized intimidate you as... It is simply a way for you to ensure clarity of pur a purpose. Organizing your thoughts, your reports, your living and workspace, and your finances will help you know and plan your next action and steps. Okay. Ready? Could you choose some Alice in Wonderland card here? Pisces, please. All right, you have two of these. I just love these cards. Keep your temper. Number 20. Don't allow others to rule you. So someone is trying to get you get you to react, get you angry, mess up your energy, knock you off, you know, get you in low vibrational. And I got, that doesn't have to mean just certain people, okay? We are in spiritual warfare. You know, a lot of the, some things you may see in the news, or I don't watch the news, but, you know, or hear see people talking about on social media. So just keep your temper or you will be sorry, okay? See it from a higher perspective, Spirit just said. Thank you, Spirit. Number 44, you can't go back to yesterday. Be in the present. Quit worrying about what happened yesterday. Now, if you have court, of course, prepare for it and do what you got to do. Speak when it did. Um, or when you're getting things together. But don't worry about tomorrow and don't worry, you know, don't focus so much on the future and yesterday. You need to be in the present. Like, meditation helps with it, okay? Let me get you an angel answer. So I want you to think of a question or situation. Okay. It could be anything. We're going to see what the angel answer say. Mars and Jupiter are stuck in there. Sorry about that. Angel answers for my Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node placement, please, Spirit. Angel answers for Pisces. March 2023. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node placements. I'm going to take them because Spirit said leave them. So, perfect timing, but you need to reconsider someone or something and choose a new direction. A year from now, you'll have big happy changes. The situation will improve. Okay? Let's get you some... I've been using these two to see... Um, what angels are helping you at this time this is an angel tarot deck absolutely love it i use it to clarify sometimes um this is the mini deck what angels are working with pisces and assisting them at this time they're also tarot so i will tell you what it says what angels are working and assisting working with pisces okay we have three you have the star the ace of swords and the six of swords so i'm going to read it as a tarot reading first so with the star i feel like something you poke wish and pray for healing energy um is coming the truth is coming out about this situation person place or thing um your truth the truth about you to many i just heard um and the six of swords is spirits taking you to calmer pick, plucked you up out of the situation and taking you to calmer waters okay now let me tell you what else is on these cards the angel name is Vasara. It means God the just. So this is about clemency and equilibrium. Protects against attacks um, in the courts. So if you do have a court situation, this angel is with you and going to help protect against attacks in the court. The Ace of Swords, Yamabel. 
God above all names, elevated. It means affinity and friendship. Obtain the friendship of anyone. This angel helps you obtain the friendship of anyone. You're like people are drawn to you like a light. Um, this could be like for certain things that you need. Okay. The angel, six of swords is annual, the gentle God, number 63. Perception of unity protects against accidents and heals the sick. So you, I feel like you're a healer, whoever it resonates with this. Um, and those angels are working with you as well as Raphael, Michael, you know, the archangels. I feel like some of you work with them. I know I do. Um, let's give you an archangel Michael guidance card. These um, could be about love relationships or any situation. Let's see what ones come out here. I'll go through the cards one time, Spirit. Whatever pops out, I'll read for this collection. Archangel Michael, guidance for my Pisces. March 2023, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Placements. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Okay, guys? I know I keep saying that, but like, these are general messages. Unless you're liking my content, commenting, your energy is not going to be in my readings. I mean, or I talk to you on a daily basis, or talk to you often, you know. From Archangel Michael, your children and angels are watched over by, your children are being watched over by angels. And here's a prayer that you can use if you need it. My prayer, dear guardian angels of my children, born and unborn, thank you for watching over my children and ensuring their happiness and safety. Please guide me so that I know the best ways to be a good parent and role model for my own and other people's children. You may work with children, Pisces. Pisces likes a lot of children. Um, I just heard someone here is going to, uh, is a healer, but they're also going to specialize healing children. I know. I know who they were. I know they were talking to me, I feel. <laughs> but, um, I feel like someone else may need to hear that. From Archangel Michael, decide to be happy now. My prayer, thank you for helping me open my heart to happiness joy and bliss i am now willing to see all of the goodness in my life spend more time outdoors from archangel michael my um you need to ground a lot at this time okay my prayer thank you for motivating me to spend more time outdoors and for helping me relax and enjoy connecting with nature i absolutely love it outside i i i it's been i can't wait till it's nice all the time from archangel michael make a commitment my prayer archangel michael as the angel as the angel of courage and confidence, I call upon you to lend me your strength. Allow me to commit to myself, my life, and my divine purpose. Please clearly guide me so I can fully open my heart to every experience. It was 37, 33 on the clock when I looked up. I'm just letting you guys know you can look those up if you want. From Archangel Michael, use your imagination and you'll see the answer. My prayer, dear God, thank you for granting me the wisdom and creativity to see your miracles in new and unexpected ways. I gratefully and gracefully accept and appreciate your help. Describe the situation. The white horse is there. To me, that's like victory, okay? And take your time making this decision. So there may be a decision. Maybe you're trying to decide which class to take next, what job to take, who's best for you. Do you need, are you ready for the relationship, ready for the thing? Um, or it could be about this core situation, like what type of attorney do you, or do you need a PI, what type of attorney. I'm just throwing things out there that coming to mind. From Archangel Michael. Take your time making this decision. My Whatever decision you're trying to make, take your time, okay? my If you can, you need to set yourself like a limit, though, so you're not doing it last minute, like as Pisces like to procrastinate a lot, right? My prayer, Archangel Michael, please help me stay strong and relax as I approach the situation. Remind me to detach and step back, allowing the situation to naturally unfold. Thank you for protecting me. So there's a situation that's naturally unfolding. You need to take a step back, okay, and... I feel like that's the information you are resonating with that, that you're going to be getting. You know, it's going to give you the answers that you need, all right? Let me get you a soul truth message because they're my favorite and they really helped me in my journey. And I'll let you guys go. Let me know below if you like the way I read this. Um, I know it was a little different. I like to mix them up. I don't let ever like my readings be the same until like I get feedback, you know. And if you guys like it a certain you got two of them. If you like it a certain way, then I'll, you know, I'm still going to mix them up, but I'll try to do more often. All right, you have, do I surround myself with people who lift me up? The people with whom we surround ourselves determine who we become. Does your tribe fill you up? Do they inspire you? Do they believe in you? Do they help you step up to your greatest potential? Today's soul action. Make a desire list of type of people with whom you wish to surround yourself and clarify if there is anyone in your life who no longer serves you. Can you love them from a distance? I just heard soul tribe. You guys are soul family. Soul tribe's coming in for those of you that don't. I feel like you may have like one or two members there. Some of you don't have any, but they're coming in, okay?
so that will help you. Am I on the right path? But in order to do that, you need to get, Spirit's saying you have to get rid of the people that don't resonate with you currently, if that makes sense. Okay, it could just be an acquaintance online. It doesn't have, or it could be somebody that, you know, is just all trying to drag you down or causing drama or whatever. Put it where it resonates, okay? Am I on the right path? Sometimes we second guess what we are doing. We lose trust in the process and questions. If we are even, or sorry, in question, if we are even on the right path at all, know this, you are on the right path. Keep going, keep believing, keep remembering that you made a soul contract that you are currently fulfilling in every area of your life. Even if you can't see it, that doesn't mean it's not real. Today's soul action. Today, search for all the ways you are aligned with your soul's purpose. The signs will appear. Let this newfound trust fuel your next steps. Beautiful. I'm actually going to do that because I feel like that was for me. Even though I said take my energy out, you know, spirit has, but anyway. But anyways, guys, I hope that this re Pisces, happy birthday again. Um, please comment below if any part of this reading resonated with you or if you would like to, my next, your other signs to resonate because that will get your energy in my readings. Um, let me know if you have any suggestions. I am not doing, I'm only doing privates for people that I personally know at this time. Um, because spirit wants me to conserve my energy, um, and I've got a lot, I've got a lot of things, projects and things going on, so I'll just be doing my videos here, and building subscribers and things, but you are more than welcome to put a subject or something below, or a type of reading if you want to see a particular type, and I will do it for you guys, but it'll be, of course, public for everybody, okay? But it'll be general, I'm not going to be, like, calling you out or anything. So, anyways, I love you guys, um, last week I had a challenge, it was to do something kind for a stranger, I want you to do something kind for yourself this week. Something for self-love. Buy yourself something. Uh, treat yourself in some way, shape, or form. Speak positive affirmations to yourself. Whatever it is you decide to do. Alright, that's going to be my challenge for everybody this week. I love you guys. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to be a nice human being. Be the light you wish to see in the world. Love you guys. Till we meet again.